Checksums provide a way to verify the integrity of a file. Since files may become corrupted many different ways, data repositories require a way to verify file integrity that is independent of the choice of storage technology. This can be done by storing a checksum hash of the file contents in a separate database and periodically recalculating the checksum value and comparing with the saved value. The strength of the verification depends on the type of checksum. The MD5 checksum algorithm was created in 1991 and is widely used. However, flaws were found in the algorithm such that a pair of dissimilar files can be created with the same MD5 checksum. This means that a file can be corrupted, the bits in the file changed, but the MD5 checksum can remain the same. In 2010, the CMU Software Engineering Institute declared that MD5 was cryptographically broken and unsuitable for further use. A new checksum algorithm was developed called SHA-256, or the Secure Hash Algorithm. This checksum is required by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Agency. The SHA-256 algorithm produces a 256-bit hash of the data file. Both the MD5 and SHA-256 checksum algorithms can be used in the IRODS data grid. A rule to verify that each file has a checksum and create missing checksums is available at LifeLive Zone Home RW Moore Rules Test Checksum.R. The rule uses the following input information and operations. There are no input parameters. The rule processes all files within your home collection and subcollections. The session variables used are dollar rod zone client and dollar username client to identify you. The persistent state information used is call name, the collection name, data checksum, the file checksum value, and data name, the file name. The operations that are performed are for each, a loop over the query result if, a conditional test, MSI data object checksum, the microservice to create a checksum of a file, select to create a query, and write line to write an output line. The rule to replace missing checksums is listed here. The rule creates a workflow variable for the home collection of the person running the rule, creates a query to retrieve all file names and their checksums, then loops over the files. For each file, a test is made for whether the checksum exists. If it is missing, a new checksum is created and a message is written. Take seven minutes to complete exercise 106. Run a rule to verify checksums on your collection. Use the rule Life Live Zone Home RW More Rules Test Checksum.R. Please load a paragraph describing your result into the Lifetime Library in the subcollection class INLS 624 by the end of today's class.